Oops, I did it again, guys. So these are our two new bunnies to my rabbit tree. Um, the black, broken black uh, otter mini rex right there was actually a baby of mine that I sold to the girl that I got my three girls from a couple days ago, which was in my last video. And she still was struggling to find them homes um, and she needed them gone by the end of the week. So I guess I'm just a rescue now and I take in uh, bunnies that need homes. <laughs> um, I have the room and I have the money and the time to take care of them. So it's like, I enjoy it. Go ahead and judge if you want to, but it's one of my passions and I'm not hurting anybody by doing it. So I figure, you know what, I'm going to enjoy it all I can. So anyway, rant over. But um, the chocolate Dutch there decided to name him Henry and then the broken black right there she named Reno so I am gonna keep that um, and for right now temporary since I don't really have another hutch to use that's not broken this was a cage that um, I had and well she gave me and um, I wrapped it in tarp so it's really secured in tarp and then I put that really heavy nest box on the top so that it kind of stays down and nothing can get into it. My son's walking in the background and just scared them. Um, but they're both, I would say, five-ish months old, so it may change with whether or not they get along. Um, they are spraying and acting like bucks, but they actually are like super bonded. They really get along well, so we'll just keep monitoring that. Um, you know, and if they don't, then that'll change. But I definitely could use another buck in my Dutch program um, just because I am planning on keeping a couple of the does if I have babies um, from the two that I'm that are pregnant right now. I'm planning on keeping a couple does so it would be nice to have another buck and he's actually super nice. He's not 100% um, you know with markings but he's very nice confirmation wise and just his personality. Um, I fell in love with him on the way home. He was super sweet. So I'm excited about these guys. Um, I am planning on getting them a different hutch or even just putting them up in my shed for now. But I thought just because they're new bunnies and I don't want to put them around all my other bunnies, they'll kind of be in quarantine down here. But I thought I would just introduce you guys to them. So like I said, the Broken Black was one that I bred from my rabbitry. Um, and his name will be staying Reno and then the chocolate Dutch I named Henry. Okay, and then these girls are actually doing really well together. I have not seen any fighting or anything. I had a couple people comment that they thought it was going to be a bad idea that I put them together and um, it's actually gone really well and they, I mean, I have not seen any issues. So obviously I'll keep watching for some and if they happen then they'll be separated, but I don't see that happening. They're acting brilliantly together. I also did take in this girl. Um, she is from the same girl and she's about six years old so she can't be bred anymore or anything and she was trying to sell her just as a pet um, which just wasn't working out. Nobody yeah. was fighting so she was kind of there again panicking that she wasn't gonna be able to find her a home. So I took her in because I didn't want to see someone take her and breed her at six years old. So um, she will be living out her days with me unless uh, the girl I got her from gets in a better situation that she can take her back, which may happen because this was one of her favorite bunnies. She is super friendly and sweet. I have been keeping her in this cage. Um, whenever I put the other three up at night, they go inside the chicken coop here. Um, but then I've been leaving her in this. I just got them, got her yesterday. Got her, the two boys and her yesterday. Come on, we want to see you. Um, but anyway, she is older, kind of more bossy, whatever. So I wanted to make sure that it wasn't too stressful of a introduction. So I thought I would just put her in this cage so that they can smell each other through it for a couple days. And then I'll let her out with them probably tomorrow or Friday. Um, and then that way they kind of like have seen each other, smelled each other for a couple days. And if it doesn't work, then she can just stay in the cage um, and be, you know, I'll let her out and everything like this during the day. But either way, um, this is what we're going to try for now. So hopefully it works. 
Her name is Coco, and I am gonna keep it Coco because I think that um, that fits her and it's really cute. And that's what she's known for six years, so I figure I might as well keep it. Sorry I'm not getting a better shot, but that's what we have for now. So this is Coco. So yes, I did take six bunnies from this girl. Um, the two boys, I do have someone that potentially is interested in them. They told me they were going to get back to me um, just as pets for their son. So we will see what they say. Um, but if not, then, you know, I will keep them. Um, it doesn't really matter to me just because I enjoy taking care of them, like I said. So anyway, that's what we have for now. But yeah, sometimes, you know, I, I wasn't actually going to record me um, getting the bunnies, the two boys and the girl just because sometimes I've, I'm worried about getting flack and like getting judged that I have too many or you know whatever but it's like I take care of them though like yes I realize my cages are dirty right now but they are clean twice a week um sometimes life gets in the way of that but they are definitely clean my bunnies never sit in pee and poop um, they are fed very well every day, watered every day, they're let out every day, I enjoy them, I'm passionate about it, and I just think that, like, if they need a home, and I can provide one, um, you know, then so be it. I just had a lady contact me yesterday, um, people find my rabbitry page on Facebook, and I guess they just assume that I have whatever bunny I have, you know, want to have, but... Um, she contacted me yesterday with five different bunnies that she needed a home for and she wanted to know if I could take them because she said all of the shelters that she was checking on none of them had room or they could only take like one and she needed someone to take either all of them or none of them basically I guess I don't know uh, but I just don't I don't have the space and I feel like you know I took those bunnies helping out a friend I had the room down there to put them um, but up here, it's like the cages that I do have left are for bunnies These that I'm going to want to be keeping from litters that I have. So it's like, you know, I don't know. Go ahead and judge if you want to judge, but I enjoy it and they're taken care of. So it is super windy today. So sorry for all the, <laughs> the blowing around and stuff. And um, I do need to clean cages again today. So they are messy. But I just wanted to update you on does that I bred and one of my most recent videos was that we were waiting on three litters and I don't think any of them were pregnant. So um, I had bred them and that was the litter we were waiting on and then two weeks after that I bred them. So they may be pregnant from that. Um, because I think about three days ago, I tried breeding them again and none of them wanted any parts of it. They were actually being super aggressive with the buck or bucks. So I'm thinking that they are pregnant from the second time. So that will be, they'll be due like the 23rd to 25th of October. Um, so hopefully we have babies then, but yeah, kind of bummed. Um, but it is what it is. That's that's the risk that you take. They can be, they can tend to be kind of tricky to breed. So it is what it is, I guess. We're waiting on babies with her. Like I said, she hopefully will be due around the 23rd to the 25th. Um, she was bred to my broken black buck who has a lot of blue and chocolate in his lines. And she is chocolate, that's charm. Sorry if I repeat myself, but I know not everybody like watches all of my previous videos. Sometimes I feel like I have to start from the beginning. Um, but this is Belle. She is a broken orange and she was bred to my tribe buck on the 23rd for the second time. Um, so hopefully we have babies then. And then this is Twist. She um, is a broken black and she was bred, same thing, on the 24th, I believe, um, to my tribe buck. So I'm hoping for some tries and some um, maybe broken oranges and stuff like that. So we'll be waiting on her babies. And then this is Claire. She was bred, uh, let me double check here. I marked it down. 
She was bred on September 22nd and then October 12th, just to double check. Um, so we could have babies either one of those dates. We could have babies like October 23rd-ish or November 13th. She was bred to my chocolate buck here on the bottom. This doe is sunny and she was bred the next day. So she was bred October or she was bred September 23rd and then October 13th. So either October 23rd or November 13th she'll have babies. Um, somewhere around there, but she was bred to the same chocolate buck that I have and they are half sisters, so um, I will be keeping a couple probably one baby each um, litter, so I'm excited to see what she has as well Miss Harper here who is a harlequin. She was bred to my tri buck um, September 25th so the end of this month, like October 25th, October 26th, she will be having babies. And I did just put her in with the buck again, um, just to double check, uh, kind of rebreed if she wasn't bred. And she there again wanted no parts. She did not lift, nothing. So definitely thinking she is pregnant. And lastly, I bred um, Miss Prima here. She's a solid black. And I bred her to my chocolate buck. Barrett, so she will be due um, mid-November because I just bred her a couple days ago. So those are my baby updates um, and litters coming. So I hope that you guys stay tuned. I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and I will see you guys next video. Bye!